Nice to meet you. Hi, Rashida and Ads SS and Wesley. Thank you for spending time with me today. That's great. But look at this here, you know, rental households. It's mind blowing how the rental apartments are so, so, so much needed and home ownership has been declining. It's like 2000, I've asked my team to kind of update these more records and all. So all these are out there in the, you know, I, we just put it rent to growth, younger than population, as the population is aging, as we just talked about, you know, they need the portability and all that demographical shifts, you know, rental, look at that growth post by 1970 immigration, it's been such a big gap, which is going to become bigger and bigger as the more immigrants come in, you know, we'll need that. All these are, again, you know, available. It's very minute, but you can kind of, you know, uh, it's it's not like in one hour I can teach everything, but please join next month also. I'll be teaching lots more advanced things. So again, you know, growth rates are there, median house price, median gross rent per month, median household income, all those graphs for us to see. Let's talk about this one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Home ownership has rapidly been declining in USA, like from 69% ownership to 65.6. I checked it as of 2024. So we are still renting 35% of our population in USA. Those people who can, you know, uh, rent uh, adults and 18 year plus, I think. So, you know, there is a huge demand huge demand for rental markets. And why multifamily? Again, right here. So this is a good slide for all of you to maybe take a picture of if you'd like. And we'll be sending this PowerPoint back to you too. So pros, cheaper to buy in single family. They are small, uh, you know, down payments and things like that. Easier to buy, more inventories there. Easier to finance up to certain amount, you know, properties and cherry pick the residents. You only have one resident per uh, single family, you know, family. And then DI, you know, possible manage, maintain small portfolio. Like we had about 20 or so homes and we gave it to property management, but because I didn't want to get up in the night time from tenants, trash and toilets, we call it. Easier to diversify in single family. You could go different uh, states and areas. Faster liquidity, you know, in portions, you could sell them also easily. Now, multifamily, on the other hand, instant portfolio of many units. See, if you have 20 different homes, which have, we did have, we have 20 different rentals. I mean, a collection of rents. We had uh, 20 roofs to repair, 20 uh, structures, everything. But in units, if all 20 families can live in one apartment complex, it's much easier economies of scale, collecting rents, and only changing one or two roofs if you need to. And better cash flow and profits, consistent source of passive income. Vacancies considered during underwriting when we do underwriting in apartments. But the key thing is if you have 20 unit apartment and one person leaves, you know, you could get one or two or three people leave. It doesn't affect you that much. 